Hello. So my name is Céline Boutier. I represent the company Shamrock Shipping and Trading Limited. Um, today I'm here to talk about flexitank transportation. Um, so yesterday afternoon we talked about uh, oversupply of uh, of base oils, you know, versus uh, stable demand. Um, so basically. Um, there is a need for, for refineries, for producers, to find new outlets for, for the products. Uh, and what we've seen the past seven, eight years is that there is a, an increasing demand for smaller shipments, and in, an increasing demand for, for flexi-tank uh, deliveries. So let me say a few words about our company. So Shamrock has... Uh, it's uh, headquarters in Cyprus, in Europe. Uh, we've been involved in the trading, shipping, and distribution of base oils and various petro um, petroleum products for the past 15 years. Uh, our company has developed over, over the years um, a reputation and recognized name in the base oils and, uh, and lubricant industry. So we, we aim to be the one-stop shop in the lubricant industry, offering a full range of products, base oils, additives, uh, and integrated services as well, which I will explain um, in the next slide. We are one of the leaders of um, deliveries of base oils by FlexiTank. Uh, we've been doing it for, for more than seven years now, so we have a a certain knowledge in, uh, in uh, handling it. And uh, our main goal is, of course, to continue achieving the high uh, standards set by our company and, um, and maintain uh, our presence as, uh, as a leading partner in the base oil and lubricant industry. So our key markets, so we, we are global distributors, so we supply uh, customers in, in about 35, 40 different countries covering different regions, so Africa, Middle East, also here in Latin America, uh, Europe, Asia, and, and, and the Far East. What are the, the services we offer to, um, to our partners? Sourcing and distribution. Um, in a way that for, for blenders, which represent about 95% of our, of our customers, uh, we offer several sourcing options at uh, best available price. And for refineries or producers, uh, we offer inter international distribution and uh, marketing of their products with, um, with the local expertise. So what we're trying to do is to uh, connect refineries and, uh, and blenders uh, all over the world uh, by arranging uh, shipment by FlexiTank. We also offer some uh, financial solutions for, for our partners, um, different kind of financing solutions, um, import financing where, for example, we would prepare a refinery and offer different payment terms to our customers. Uh, inventory financing, which is possible as well, so we could finance the stock of uh, or inventory of your product. And um, an account receivable as well is, is one of the financing solutions. Logistic solutions, which is why I'm here, you know, to talk about. Um, so we obviously offer a full range of services uh, with uh, the most cost-effective routes. Uh, transportation type, uh, packaging, storage facility. So let's talk about flexi tanks. Yeah, so flexi tank is an innovative logistic solution to ensure continuous, cost-effective, and efficient supply chain and distribution. So let me recap a little bit about FlexiTank for those who don't know what a, what a FlexiTank is. So FlexiTank is a liquid container uh, with volume from 10,000 up to 24,000 liters. Its, um, it's, um, its use is uh, mainly for non-hazardous liquid and uh, it's uh, typically installed in a, in a 20 feet uh, container, usually a sea container but can be a rail 
right away container as well. It can be used for food staff, meaning that you can transport wine, any juices, you know, uh, olive oil, for instance. Um, it can also be used as a temporary or permanent storage, so to replace some uh, storage tanks, for instance. Uh, it can also accept uh, products with temperature ranged from minus 20 up to 80 degrees. Uh, and for example, for if we talk about basils, for bright stock, for instance, when we uh, do ship bright stock in cold countries, we can put a heating pad inside a container to keep the product warm so that the customer can easily discharge the product. And it's, of course, a dynamic, flexible, safe, and cost-effective solution for, for all but liquid uh, transport. Uh, let me give you a bit of information about, about the flexitang market dynamics. Um, overall, about 70% of uh, global volume is shipped by uh, small and medium-sized companies. Uh, globally, and here, sorry, there is a typo mistake. So globally, we're reaching uh, 1 million units in, in 2015, so 1 million containers, which is equivalent to about 15 million uh, metric tons. On average, the market growth um, is about 20% per annum. So um, here the chart uh, shows the, uh, what the estimate for, for next year, which shows about you know, 1.8 uh, million units in, uh, in 2017. So there is an increasing demand for, for flexi tanks and containers, and, uh, and you know, the chart basically shows this trend. What are the key drivers that uh, contributed to the, to the growth in uh, global container in the past 10 years? Um, the growth in global trade is probably number one. Uh, the increased global sourcing and manufacturing. Also a shift from transporting cargo in bulk to transporting cargo in containers, so smaller shipments. And, uh, and the growth in, uh, in transship volume. Here is the breakdown in terms of uh, product being transported by, um, by FlexiTank. Um, so again, it's, uh, FlexiTank is, um, is for non hazardous products. So as you can see, Bezos accounts for 20% of, uh, of the volume being shipped by FlexiTank. Um, here, the geographical coverage, so this is done for uh, where the FlexiTank is being loaded. So the main region is Asia accounting for 60%, and um, South America is 7%. So overall, in 2015, 10% uh, of Bezos trade by bulk, so Bezos traded by bulk, has been transported by FlexiTank. So what we believe is that flexi tanks have become an essential alternative for company looking to save on the transport of any non-hazardous liquid and response to the increasing need for efficient, flexible storage and portability of liquid. So we believe is the best option now for bulk liquid transportation. Here is shows the process um, of a flexi tank shipment. So we start uh, at the bottom, so the container is being selected and picked up at, um, at the container port, at the depot. Um, the flexi tank is being installed inside the container and then, then further transported on a, on a trailer to the, to the loading plant, so it can be directly at the refinery or the plant or at the terminal. It then goes back to the container terminal where the, the container is being uh, shipped on, uh, on board the vessel uh, using picking lines. The cargo, Hello? Yeah. <laughs> the cargo arrives then to uh, the delivery port and uh, it's further being unloaded at the customer's facility. So the customer facility can be, you know, close to the port or in a landlocked countries or any, any location, basically, because 
The container is being loaded on a trailer <coughs> or, on a, or, or by rail, for instance, so it can be discharged pretty much anywhere. Um, and finally, uh, the customer or the freight forwarder So finally, the customer is uh, is arranging for 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 the for the flexi tank disposal. So um, we believe, and um, and it's proven to be an easy and simple process. Why? Um, because we are able to arrange door-to-door -door delivery. Also, just in time, scheduled delivery, so we can arrange the loading and the discharge pretty much as, as the customer wants. So it's a really, uh, it's a process, it's a service-oriented process, and uh, which allows us to, to arrange the logistics uh, the way the customer wants. There is no return loads, where it's the case for Isotank, for instance. It's a very quick loading and discharging process. You need about uh, 30, 45 minutes to load or to discharge a, a flexi tank. Um, it also allows you to, to better control um, and monitor the whole logistics. Um, the chart mo you know, shows the, the example where you know, the flexi tank uh, just you know, is, a, is a way of moving products from a manufacturer producer to the end user. Instead of avoiding all the steps where you may use, you know, rail tank and then storage, then further bulk, again, storage or a tank truck. Here, the process is, is easy and, uh, and it allows, you know, easy monitoring and, uh, and, uh, of your logistics and, uh, and transportation. And finally, as I explained before, it can be used as, um, as a temporary or, or permanent storage. Uh, Figures-wise, of course, you know, let's talk about cost. Um, here the charts show on globally, overall, the difference um, for the freight per, per metric ton uh, between a flexi tank, tanker vessel, ISO tank, and IBCs. So overall, let's say when you ship a um, product by flexi, uh, your cost, and again, it varies from one region to another, but it's about 100, uh, for the freight, it's about $100 per ton. So what are the um, advantages, you know, uh, for, for a company using a flexi tank? Cash flow optimization, so obviously you have less uh, capital tied up. Um, when you book product by vessel, you secure 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 tons cargo, where you will have to block you know, up to five, ten million dollars, depending on the on the size of your cargo for a flexi tank. It's um, you load the flexi is twenty tons, so uh, you can monitor your your weekly or monthly shipment the way you want it. And obviously, you have so less upfront capital tied up. You monitor your price risk. Uh, we talked yesterday about the price volatility of Bezos as well. Um, you don't need to secure a cargo that will last for two, three months, and then, and then you are exposed to the price volatility. Uh, here, the same shipments are organized, you know, in a way that uh, you really minimize your, your, the price risk or price volatility. The reduced stock, um, it's, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, you know, you can... Uh, arrange the shipment um, when you need the product, so no need to have some really big stock tied up. Uh, and in the case of storage, it's the same. You can avoid if you want to having to rent any any storage or uh, at the port, for instance. Um, there is no cleaning cost. There is no damage cost, which is. Uh, which can be a big cost, you know, on, on bulk shipment. Um, in terms of damage, we usually um, arrange uh, seven up to 21 days, three days um, at the discharge port for a customer to pick up the, the flexi tank. And there is also no uh, repositioning cost, which, which is the case for, for ISO tank. Uh, safety and risk management. So um, it is flexi tank is uh, is already a mature 
let's say, sector, if I may say it. Um, uh, it is a safe technology. Uh, there is no risk of uh, contamination. Um, when you load a flexi, uh, you put a seal uh, on, a, on a flexi and basically the, the container is not being opened from the moment you load the product till the discharge. Um, there is minimum quantity loss possibilities in a way that, um, you know, flexi is, is a bag. So when, when you discharge the product, usually it's very easy to really empty the, the full uh, volume of, uh, of the flexi. Uh, and you have really minimum quantity left uh, left in the bag. It's approved by all major chemical and oil, oil companies as well. And uh, finally, it's a clean and environment friendly and uh, uh, recyclable product. Accessibility to new markets, which is uh, very important nowadays. Um, so we can, with a Flexi, supply customers, as I said before, all over the globe, and the same for customer where they can source product the same pretty much everywhere they want. Take advantage of the arbitrage or not is, you know, um, we can see from the arrows, but now we've seen even in Latin America, you see products coming from everywhere, being delivered by Flexi, by bulk, of course, which is still, you know, the probably the main um, transportation system for, for Bezos, but uh, we've seen product coming from, from the US, from Europe, from Asia, from pretty much all parts of the world. It allows to do door-to-door -door deliveries um, with you know, access to remote destination, and uh, as I said before, monitor the, the price risk. So if I recall, uh, one of the you know, um, message of uh, given by one of the of the um, marketing officer of Maersk Line. Uh, the advantage is clear for the shipper who benefits from the flexibility of the commodity being moved in smaller shipment sizes, allowing them to reach um, many different locations very quickly. So I, I guess the message explains pretty much everything. Um, so, what are the four different types of uh, bulk options when you distribute base oils? So, you can do it by tanker vessel, which is, you know, the, the, the biggest way of, uh, of moving products uh, or base oils. You do it by flexi, uh, isotank, or by, by drums or totes as well. Here, um, I've done a cost comparison between a flexi and tanker vessel, so I've took for example, the freight between uh, Houston to Santos or the freight between uh, the Med to, to Santos. Uh, given, um, you know, uh, quantity-wise, uh, you load a 20, 20 tons flexi and bulk a minimum 2,000 tons parcel. So, I ha as you can see, uh, freight from Houston to Santos if you are to load 280 parcel, for instance, it's slightly cheaper. However, if you look at the freight from the Met to Santos, you see that you know it's uh, you know it costs definitely less you know to ship by flexi than by bulk. To reach the same price as uh, as uh, as a flexi tank, you would need to, for example, arrange a shipment of minimum 5,000 tons cargo uh, from Europe to Santos to to be at uh, you know equal numbers in terms of freight cost. Vessel damage, so there is no damage for flexi. There can be for bulk, you know, and uh, um, it depends on the congestion you might face in, um, in a discharge port. Uh, we've seen, you know, like sometimes up to 30, 40 days, and this can be a significant cost added to your um, total cost when you import product. You can schedule your delivery uh, very easily. Uh, storage cost, there is no storage cost again because you can get your product delivered straight to your plant. And in terms of cash involvement, it's um, again very low compared to uh, as if you would uh, uh, place an order for, for bulk cargo. Um, here, you know, I, I already mentioned, but uh, you know, um, the, the, the main competitive advantage again, so availability of flexi tank, you don't need to wait uh, 
uh, for like a bulk vessel, for a vessel, you know, to be available. Container are available pretty much everywhere. Um, so you can just, you know, like you can book an order and within just a couple of days, just load uh, the number of containers you need. Minimum quantity being 20 tons. Um, there is no special equipment needed, just a pump uh, that you need uh, to, uh, to load and to discharge a flexi. So no extra operational or storage cost and no damage cost again. Here is for Again, smaller, smaller shipments, uh, small blenders uh, who are sometimes uh, importing products by uh, isotank or by drum in some cases. Uh, here, the, the, the main difference is definitely cost, where you can see, you know, let's say uh, two to uh, $110 ton for, for flexi uh, compared to $230 a ton for, for, for drum and IBC, for instance. Uh, same flexi versus ISO tank, you know, $110 versus $185. So the main difference is definitely, uh, it's definitely about cost here. Uh, so here again, it recaps, you know, uh, you know, the main advantages which I've, which I've already mentioned. To conclude, um, the flexi tank market is, is a growing market. Uh, is a growing market for Bezos deliveries too. Uh, there are more sourcing options for customers, more markets for producers. There is a rising trend for smaller volume flexi tank trade rather than cargo business or bulk business. As people look to keep stocks low to limit exposure to market volatility and keep positive cash flow as well. Supply smaller volume at shorter notice, this is one of the global trends that, um, that can be foreseen. And flexit in cars, Latin American niche with, with sample potential growth, as we believe. Um, to finish, I have um, a small video I want to show you, uh, just as a recap. Um, it's from one of our partners called BFlexi. Um, Bflexi works in cooperation with SGS for flexi tank uh, loading and transportation. Uh, I've managed to get this video, it's in Portuguese, from Portugal though, but in Portuguese. So it, it's just a recap, you know, of, uh, of my presentation. So hope you enjoy it. Thank you. O FlexiTank é uma forma simples, rápida e económica de armazenar e transportar granéis líquidos e sólidos. A montagem é muito simples, utilizando um contentor convencional. Com capacidade entre os 10 mil e os 24 mil litros, o FlexiTank é utilizado para qualquer carga a granel no depósito. Habitualmente instalado em contentores convencionais ou contentores ferroviários, aprovado para granéis alimentares, funciona para armazenamento temporário ou permanente e permite temperaturas entre os 20 graus negativos e os 80 graus. O custo é 40% inferior ao da utilização de uma cisterna. As opções são diversas, consoante a utilização desejada. O método tradicional contém vários intermediários. O modelo de negócio SGS Flexi tem apenas um intermediário. Basta contactar a SGS Logística e o seu Flexi Tank aparece montado e pronto para ser nas suas instalações. Quais as principais vantagens desta solução SGS? Comodidade. Soluções customizadas sempre que precisarem à sua porta. Ubiquidade. A parceria SGS Flexi assegura a disponibilidade desta solução em 1800 pontos do mundo. Economia. Redução de custos através de tecnologia avançada com a melhor qualidade. Segurança. 25 anos de experiência permitem oferecer risco zero aos nossos clientes. A SGS é o líder mundial em inspeção, verificação, 
testes, formação e certificação. A Bflexi é um prestador global de soluções logísticas. Contacte-nos através do e-mail pt.info.scs.com ou pela linha SGS 808-200-747. Muito completa a sua apresentação.